hello guys welcome back so in this video tutorial we will add the parameters and we will add a splash screen so for that let's just add our first parameter right here in the return material dot app we will uh, call it as title and the title will be let's just say cat and dog classifier and the next one will be home so type home and we will type my my splash so this one will be our splash screen and now the next one will be the debug banner so we will set the debug banner to false so right here we will type false so now we need to create create this splash screen class so for that we will create a new file and we will name this as we will name this as splash screen dot dart click enter and inside this uh, dart file we will create a stateful widget so just type ht and right here here is all the state for the stateless widget so we will just click stateful widget and we will name this as my splash as we mentioned in the dart file the main.dart file and right here we are getting some errors so this is because we didn't add the library which is called material.dart so let's just import that so import here it is package flutter material dot dart just import this library and as you can see the error are gone and now next dependency that we will need is the splash screen so import and right here we will type splash screen add this library add a semicolon so now we have the libraries now right here we are returning the container we don't need that we need to return the splash screen so this splash screen uh, takes server parameters so the first parameter that we will call will be seconds and we will set this to two the next one will be the navigate after seconds what this will allow to do is it will just go to the main class like after the two seconds it will just open up the main screen where while we are running the application so now let's just add home it will just directly go to the home okay and now the next one will be title and the title will be text okay simple text and inside the text we will type cat and dog classifier and also we will give it a text style so we will type style and then inside here we will type text style and then we will add a brackets and inside these brackets we will type font weight and the font weight will be font weight for font weight dot uh, let's make it bolder so font weight dot bold and the next one will be font size so font size and we will set this to 25 and after the font size we will add a color so color 0x00 ff four times f and remove this semicolon and add this to remove the error let's bring everything down to some lines so that it will look good now the code looks more clean so now after this design we need to add a image so before adding the image let's create a folder named assets assets here is our assets folder and make sure to add the assets folder in the pubspec.yml file go to the pubspec.yml file and right here remove this comment so the assets folder is added and down below we will type 
assets so the directly go inside the assets folder make this a capital A because it's assets with a capital A so it will go inside that assets folder and it will fetch all the images inside that folder and for safety purposes let's just rename this and uh, make the A small inside the assets folder I will add an image okay this one will be the icon for our home page the icon will be a cat and dog so let me just drag and drop here that image into the assets folder so as you can see right here the image is now added this is the icon we will use this now get back to the splash screen and here we will access the image so right below this right here we will create a fanciful image and uh, we will type image dot asset and then the file name is cat underscore dog underscore icon dot png this will include the cat dog icon image and you can get this uh, image all the assets folder in the resource file so make sure to check out that and now we still have the error on the main.dart file so let's just quickly add a package for the splash screen right here so we will type splash screen here it is and now as you can see the error is gone and change this to false okay because the spelling was incorrect so now as you can see the error are gone now and now if we go back to the splash screen on this page now we need to add a background color so first let's just sort this code out so this will be the image assets and after the image assets we will background color and the background color will be let's just say for now blue or blue asm and the photo size will be equals to 60 and now let's just add a loader color and for the loader color we will use a hex number 0 x 0 0 4 2 4 2 now it gives error right here for the home so for that we will create a new file and we will name this as uh, let's just say home dot dart okay and right here we will create a state for widget and we will name this as home and also don't forget to add the material dot dart so import it right here and now if we go to the splash screen right here we will import this right here dot so now as you can see the error are now gone okay guys so before we test this application first go to the android folder and then go inside this app and then build dot cradle double click on it and then just scroll down right here and set the main sdk version to 19 from 16 to 19 now open up the browser and let's check the documentation for the tf light so search for tf light click on it and if you scroll down so as you can see right here in the installation we already added the tf light dependency in the pubspec.yml file and now we need to add these lines of code in the android app and then build.gradler so just copy this and get back to the android studio and inside this android after this resource sets add this these lines of code so this will configure the tf light in our project in order to install the tf light in your ios devices so just follow these steps and the work will be done so now everything is done and let's just run our application so click on this play button and it will take a minute or two to start the emulator 
so our app is now running so guys as you can see it shows the splash screen so this uh, so the splash screen only appears for two seconds because on the main.dart file we add two seconds so that's why and now in the next video we will work on the home.dart file and we will design all of our ui so stay tuned for that